Now let's look at how we might could take some information about a pre-image uh, and along with some information that we're given about the image and see if we can determine the scale factor. And I've changed this a little bit uh, from what you see in your book there on page 512 <coughs> to better fit what we're doing. So, but here on the right, we see a movie ticket stub and its dimensions. And so we are five centimeters wide and 6.4 centimeters long. And we're told that this picture, this movie tic ticket stub is being reduced to an image one and a half meters wide by about, and that about is going to come in, be important here in a little bit, uh, 1.9 centimeters long, what percentage was used, or in other words, what was the scale factor expressed as a percentage used to dilate the original image? So rather than being 1.5 centimeters wide, it's now, I mean, 5 centimeters wide, it's going to be 1.5 centimeters. The image will be the reduced image. And rather than 6.4 centimeters, it's going to be 1.9. And we're just going to simply express this as a ratio, the scale factor, and then uh, convert that to a percentage. So I'd set my ratio up. My image is 1.5 centimeters wide as opposed to 5 centimeters wide. And my length is 1.9 centimeters long versus 6.4. And I'm going to use approximately equals there because I've already figured that out. So let's see. I'm going to take my calculator and I got 1.5 divided by 5. And that comes to 0 0.3 or 30% moving that decimal place two points to the right, 30%, and then 1.9 divided by 6.4 actually comes up to 2.96875, but if we round that, I could also get that to about 0 0.3 if I round that to the nearest tenth, and that's also going to be about 30 so our reduced image had a scale factor of 0.3 or 30% from the original movie ticket stub. And if you don't believe me, you can go ask Joey Bag of Donuts who actually did the reduction. If you can find Joey, he's hard to find. <laughs>